Angel, and today we are in hell. We are in my mech again, and uh, this one is gonna System be a very special one. Actually, the artwork is gonna be a Diablo 4 fan art, so stay tuned for a hellish nightmare of Lily becoming real in front of your eyes. Let's not stay too long in this hell. If you like these kind of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe and share the videos with others. And also, you can learn how to make photo manipulations with the help of my tutorial series. Check the card. Anyway, let's begin. Okay, hey guys. So, I guess, welcome to hell. Anyway, so, this was a really fun project. If we don't count the little things that didn't really w go as planned. But let's forget about that. So I started to build the background. And um, I had a quite clear picture in my head what, what kind of artwork I wanted to make. So I got a brief from a client. And, and I started right away making, well, basically hell. With lava rivers and... Uh, some kind of bone structure in the middle and so on. Hey children, time for a lecture. This is a universal hexagram. That's the symbol of evil. Many mistake the pentagram to be symbol of evil, but that's not the case. The hexagram that is universal uh, is symbol of it with uh, six points being the number six number of the beast, 666. So yeah, pentagram is actually protecting symbol. So don't mistake those two. Anyway, that's today's lecture. Okay, so when I was ready with the background hell, I started to build the main antagonist being Lilith. So who is she? She is the daughter of Mephisto, Lord of Hatred, and also Queen of the Succubi. So I had this bust of uh, Kerrigan from Starcraft actually and uh, I decided that I'm 
gonna use that as a foundation of Lilith's build up and uh, using that and a dragon stock picture I started to build her face and well her body was made from several models that I bashed together and uh, her wings or whatever those are cape of some sort are actually made from lettuce so yeah only imagination can be your limitation My client brief told me to make a sacrificial uh, situation. So I started to build these acolytes from scratch and basically, well, excuse me for saying this, but kill them off in front of Lilith. So uh, they are getting controlled by her spell or something on this plateau of uh, evilness in hell. Um, I also wanted to bring more dynamic to the picture, so I decided that I'm gonna make two heroes, two protagonists. One paladin and, well, you'll see in a moment, a barbarian that are basically trying to attack Lilith. And uh, so I, I made these two from bashing together photos and giving the barbarian some ridiculous armor that probably won't save him in real life but hey this is fantasy and also the worst kind of weapons that you can imagine Using curves in this picture was my best friend because the light source were basically all around the place. I mean every lava pool and all the fire around and everything is glowing, right? So it's, it's a light source. But then also Lilith will have her own spell magic or some blood magic or whatever and that will also emit some light. And then I also decided that one of the weapons is gonna be some kind of magic weapon imbued with some kind of magic. So that also emitted some light. So yeah, there's basically simpl simply put at least four light sources and I bear that in mind all the time. Those who are interested, the game will release June 2nd this year. So guys, don't go to Lilith's claws. She may seem seductive, but she's a mean broad. Anyway guys, I will finish this one off as well now. And um, well, I decided to take a little away from the, from the overlays. But I'm Double Art Angel and thanks for watching and I catch you in the next one.